Who doesn't love cable cars? You don't charge admission. We're so free, which we're kind of proud of. You know, it's not much free left in the world anymore. So we've managed to do that through donations and through our gift shop. You get a real look and a real appreciation of what early transit systems were like. This was the transit of the day from about 1875 to about 1893 or later, you know. Cable Car Museum is free, come on in, take a day, come down, rediscover the city. You can spend as much time as you want, you don't have to make reservations. I think it's important to be free because we want them to develop a love for cable cars, as I said, so they do continue to support them, whether they live here or in other places. People come in and say, oh yes, you know, I've passed by this, I've heard of this, I've never come in. They always enjoy themselves. People love cable cars. And there's none left in the world. So if you want to ride a cable car, you got to come to San Francisco. You know, that's what makes the city. But without the cable cars, you'd lose part of that, you know? Because people who come here and they love it and they love the history and they can ride a cable car that's been running since 1888 or 1889. Wow, that's something. Can't do that with other historical museums. Rarely, if ever, have run against anybody from here or outside that didn't come in and didn't really feel better for knowing something about the city. It's an experience. And it's an experience you'll always remember. I hope that they walk away with a greater appreciation of the history. Uh, with the mechanics, as I said, you know, people are fascinated by the winding machine. And what I really hope is appreciation, which is part of our mission, is these young kids will grow up with an appreciation for cable cars and the ones that live here and other places, they will make sure that there will always be cable cars in San Francisco because they're, once they're gone, they're gone. It's the heartbeat of San Francisco, that sound of the cable in the slot, you know? And without the cable cars, you know, we'd lose something of San Francisco. We'd lose part of its heart and soul. It wouldn't be San Francisco without cable cars.